In this lesson, we'll learn how to add Mari to our Wacom tablet properties and then configure them for Mari's navigation. All right, now to start this course off, I want to go ahead and have a conversation with you about the piece of hardware that I have in front of me today. So if I go ahead and click down here, I'm going to bring up this image and you'll see that what I'm working on today is a Wacom Cintiq 22 HD. Now, if you don't have this specific model of tablet, don't worry. What we're going to learn in this course should be relevant to pretty much any piece of Wacom hardware that you're working on. So let's go ahead and take a look here. You can see on either side of my Cintiq, I have these express keys. There's eight of them on each side. Now, what you don't see here in this image is on the back side behind the express keys is a touch strip on either side of the Cintiq. Up here we have buttons for information, we have a Wacom tab Tablet Properties button as well as a main menu button for the Cintiq itself. Now I am a right-handed user so everything we're going to be setting up in this course is going to be for a right-handed user. That means that my free hand is going to have easy access to these left hand sided or these these express keys on the left hand side of the Cintiq. My pen hand, my right hand, is going to still be able to hit these but it's not going to be able to um, lay down things that require a mouse cursor in uh, action while I'm pressing those because if the stylus is in my hand and reaching over to press these it's not going to be on the Cintiq itself. So with that said if you're a left-handed user you may want to take everything that we're configuring in this course and just flip-flop it for a left-handed user instead of a right-handed. Alright great so uh, with that said I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to Mari. Now inside of Mari the first thing you're more than likely going to be doing is navigating around a model uh, in some form of fashion. So whether you are orbiting around the model, whether you are panning, or whether you are zooming in and out, navigation is really one of the core actions that you're going to be performing inside of Mari. So let's go ahead and set those up for use on our Cintiq first. I'm going to go ahead and access the Wacom tablet properties here and I'll just hit that little button on the upper right hand corner of my Cintiq that has a wrench next to it and it actually opened up behind. There we go. Uh, this is the Wacom Tablet Properties window. You should be able to access this through your uh, Windows control panel as well. Now, you'll notice here that you can see my piece of hardware is at the top. We have a couple of options under tools for either functions or the grip pin that I'm using. And below that we have an application strip. Now currently all we have in here is all. So any changes that I make down here below for either functions or the grip pin are going to be applied to all applications that I that I can open on this particular computer. Now, let's say that's not the case. We we want to be able to assign settings that are specific for working inside of Mari. We can definitely do that. All we need to do is come over here and hit this little plus sign and you'll see this add application for custom settings window pop open and you can see all the applications I have open listed here. So, uh, let's go ahead and select Mari 1.5 version 1 here and I'll simply hit OK and you can see that Mari has been added and we can now create custom settings for our grip pin for using Mari. So let's go ahead and select our functions option here and you'll notice we'll need to do the exact same thing over here for functions. So uh, let's come over here and add in Mari as well. Now if you don't have Mari open you could always come in here and browse to the executable for Mari. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out because I had Mari open. Uh, we'll go ahead in and let's go ahead and take a look at the grip pin first here. Now when it comes to, let me just move this out of the way and jump back to Mari. When it comes to navigating in Mari uh, the alt button is pivotal to this. Everything kind of revolves around the alt button. So if we're going to be uh, maybe wanting to orbit around the model, we hold down the alt key and we left click and we can orbit around. If we wanted to pan, we would uh, hold down the alt key and we would middle click and if we wanted to zoom in and out we would simply hold down the alt key and right click and you can see we can zoom in and out so you can see how important the alt button becomes the alt button is a modifier key that changes what the 
left click, the right click, and the middle clicks do. So uh, let's come over here and see how we could assign that inside our Wacom tablet properties. Now we've got the grip pin currently selected and I'm going to be showing you my preferred method for setting up a lot of these functions uh, when it comes to our Cintiq here. Now is this the absolute best way to do it? Uh, no, absolutely not. Every person's different, but uh, when I'm working in Mari, I like to assign both the middle click and the right click to my grip pin buttons. So uh, you can see right now we've got them set by default to double click uh, for this one here and then right click for this one here. I'm simply going to change the double click over here to middle clicks. So we're going to drop this down and come over to clicks and simply choose middle click here. And now these are going to function as my right click and my middle click. Now my left click happens whenever I simply tap the tip of my pin to the Cintiq. So left click, middle click, and right click are all covered simply by using uh, the grip pin itself. Now what about this modifier key? What about the alt key? Where, would we, where are we going to put that? Well, let's do this. Let's jump over here to our functions. And you're going to notice here that we have the very first tab is called Express Keys. So you can see here that we have buttons for left and right. I'm going to make sure that my left one is selected because I'm right-handed and I want to be able to select this button with my left hand. Now also because the Alt key is such an important button, I want to be able to find this without even looking for it. So the placement of that modifier is pretty important as well. Uh, if you kind of just run your hand up and down the left side of your Cintiq, uh, the easiest buttons to find are going to be either this top one or this bottom one down here for me. Now these in the center are fairly easy to find if you use this touch strip toggle button as kind of your landmark for searching for those. Uh, but in my opinion the two easiest ones to find and the quickest to find are the very topmost button and the very bottommost express key. So let's go ahead and target this bottom one right here. I like this one because in kind of my natural hand position my thumb rests right on top of this very first express key. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and make sure we have Mari selected here. And we'll come down here to the little control for that very first or bottom most express key. And I'm going to simply click this and we're going to come over here to modifiers. So uh, we'll open the define modifier window. And you can see here that we can um, apply either a shift, an alt, or a control modifier key to this express key. Now we can also add a click, either a left, a middle, or a right click as well to the modifier key, but I want to be able to control those with my grip pin, not with just this single express key. So uh, let's just go ahead and select the Alt modifier and we'll hit OK here. You can see here that now that little Alt shows up right here below modifier. This express key above that was actually currently set to that modifier. We're actually going to reassign that to something else. Again, this is my preferred setup. So let's go ahead and test this setup out. Let me just go ahead and drag this uh, off screen. Come back over here to Mari and I'm going to hold down my Alt key. And we will click and drag and you can see I can now Alt and draw with my grip pin and I can orbit around my model here. So again I'm just holding down the express key and simply uh, tapping on my Cintiq and dragging with my grip pin. Now let me go ahead and use one of the buttons on the grip pin here. I'll hold down again that express key and there we go. You can see I can zoom in by holding one of the buttons down and by holding the other button I can pan around my model. So uh, we've got all of Mari's navigation covered here uh, with the grip pin and its two buttons as well as the help of one of our express keys here. Alright, great. So uh, with those actions assigned inside our Wacom tablet properties, I want to go ahead and move on at this point and begin assigning the rest of the express keys on my left hand side of the Cintiq.